Hello everyone, I am Tiasha De. I have completed task 1 that is Irish Flower Classification ML project from beginner level given by Let's Grow More. So let's start with this project. Here we have been given a data set. The first thing would be to import all necessary libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Seaborn and Matlotly. Now once I imported all the necessary library, here I will read the data set by using pd.read underscore csv and convert it into a data frame. Now we will enter into data analysis part. Here df.save returns the number of rows and columns. Now I will use the following line of code df.columns to find out the column names. Now I will use df.info to get information about data frame. Now I will use df.isna.sum to find out total NAND values in each column. Now here I check the correlation between different features and here I plot a heat map to visualize this. Here I have done more visualization. This is a scatter plot between sepal length and sepal width with the basis of three different class of iris data set. The same way I have plotted another scatter plot between petal length and petal width. Here I have plotted a bar plot between three different class of iris data set and sepal length. Next here is another bar plot between different classes and sepal width. Here again this is a bar plot between different classes and petal length. This is another bar plot between different classes and petal width. Next here I have plotted a box plot of iris versicolor with the basis of different features like sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. Now in the similar way as previous I have plotted a box plot of iris setosa and same for iris virginica also. Here I have plotted a box plot of iris virginica next here i have plotted a pair plot of three different class of iris flower with the basis of sepal length sepal width petal length and pet petal width next here i have plotted a pie plot of three different classes of iris flower now finally i move towards building and training our model so here I split the data set into X train and Y train. So here is our first model logistic regression. Here I will import the inbuilt model logistic regression and then predict training and testing accuracy. Training accuracy is around 99% and testing accuracy is around 93%. Here is our second model decision tree classifier. Here I will import inbuilt model decision tree classifier and then predict training and testing accuracy and here training accuracy is around 100% and testing accuracy is around 90%. Here is our third model KNN classifier. Here I have imported inbuilt model K neighbors classifier and then predict training and testing accuracy and here the training accuracy is around 98% and the testing accuracy is around 93%. And here is our fourth model support vector machine. Here I have imported inbuilt model support vector machine and then predict training and testing accuracy. And here the training accuracy is around 98% and the testing is around 93%. And here is our fifth and final model random forest classifier. Here I have imported inbuilt model random forest classifier and then predict training and testing accuracy and here the training accuracy is around 100% and the testing accuracy is around 93%. From five different model I draw a conclusion that if we use logistic regression or SVC or KNN or random forest classifier for iris flower classification then the test accuracy is 93%. If decision tree classifier is used, then the test accuracy is 90%. Thank you.